the given area in the picture is basically having a rectangular body and there is a cut out of an arc a section which is not a complete semicircle or one fourth circle basically it is it is an arc of an angle 60 degree and radius 120 however the total size of the rectangular body is given as 200 by 300 so as i know that the my first job would be making two different sections so make sections my second job would be define or mark references my third job would be mark individual centroids once i will complete these three steps my fourth step will be make table i always follow this philosophy which reduce my error so in this case if i will identify i can say see that one would be this section which is the arc section the second one would be a rectangular body so here first before i go further i would like to tell you that how we can identify or calculate the centroid of a, an arc body because in case of a semicircular we know that the position of the centroid will be 4r by 3 pi from the base and this is one standard result similarly we can we can uh, remember or we can identify the central result a uh, uh, standard result for an arc body so here i am showing that how we can calculate the centroid of an arc body actually all these results are standard result which have been calculated uh, which has been calculated by using the integration they actually considered a small strip and by doing the integration of the small strip they calculated the uh, standard uh, value of the centroid of this arc section but as to solve the problem no need to every time derive your formula we have to remember some standard results i always insisted my students that remember some standard results standard results like rectangular body triangular body semicircular body or now i am introducing one arc body so in case of a, a body which is not a complete circle or a part of a circle the position of the centroid if i am making i am putting my body in a way that it is symmetric about this horizontal axis the angle at the top and the bottom side are similar let that angle at the top and bottom sides are alpha alpha and the total angle is defined by 2 alpha or i can define the total angle by theta so in my case if i see my question i am having an angle which is defined uh, the 60 degrees the angle so if i'll correlate these two figures i will say that this alpha will be 30 here as well as 30 here and here is the formula to find the position of the centroid in case of this arc the centroid will lie somewhere here because the body is symmetric about this axis so centroid will be here but i am interested to find the position of the centroid from this vertex so this is the formula 2 by 3 r sin theta by theta but please remember that theta will put here in terms of radian not in degree so in this case if my theta is 60 degree the position of the centroid will be defined by 2 by 3 into r into sin 60 by pi by 3 as i said that this theta will be in radians so now let's go back to our problem that we know that this is our basic figure so as i said the first part is to make the sections so i know that one section will be the complete rectangular body and the second section will be this cutout which is in terms of an arc now the second job will be to make the references so here i am making my references as usual i am putting the extreme left and the extreme bottom are the reference once i will make the references my third job would be identify or mark the centroid of this individual section so i know that for the semicircular arc the centroid will be somewhere here and the position of the centroid can be calculated using this formula similarly in case of the rectangular body i know that its centroid will be somewhere here and the position of the centroid will be half of this value which will be 100 similarly if i'll see the vertical case actually the this body is also a symmetric body which is and the body is symmetric about this horizontal axis and we know that whenever we are having a symmetric section we don't calculate the centroid for uh, 
this vertical value. If the section is symmetric about the horizontal axis, we are interested to find the x bar only because y bar will be 0, the centroid will lie on this line. So here, if I will make the table for my figure that I know that these are the two sections, one section will be the complete large rectangular body and the second section will be this semicircular arc. So the one the area of the rectangular body will be 200 into 300 as well as the position of the centroid will be 100 which I have already shown you here and the position of the centroid of the semicircular arc can be calculated using this formula which I am calculating here which is 2 by 2 into 1 by 2 by 3 into 120 into sine 60 by pi by 3 which is coming out as 66.16 so now I know that the position of individual is 66.16 and this is I can put this value into my standard formula which is nothing but the x is x bar will be a1 x1 a2 x2 divided by a1 plus a2 so this is my standard formula for the x bar a1 x1 plus a2 x2 divided by a1 plus a2 if you are interested how we uh, from where this formula is derived you can see my previous video so here, when I will put these value into this formulation, I am getting a centroid value is 96.22. So that means that the centroid will lie somewhere, uh, this, this is 200 and my answer is 96.22. That means the centroid will lie somewhere here. So here will be the centroid of my body, which will be having a distance 96.22. Millimeters. Thank you.